Today what I'm going to be showing you how to do is render a basic object on a basic set and make it look really pretty without a lot of work being put in. It's literally just down to rendering, there's going to be no textures applied, although I will be um, changing materials and using certain materials to make things look prettier. First things first, create a sphere, because this is the object that I'm going to be rendering. So I have here my basic sphere. Let's say for example put that there and then next you want to create a plane just create this plane this is this is going to be the set kind of like a photo shoot we're going to make this like a little little set and then i'm going to extrude these two edges up so edit mesh extrude then bring them to up So now this is going to act as our set and this is going to be the object we can render. Just bring that up slightly, place it somewhere in the corner there. So here you go, basic set and basic object that we're going to render. Um, let me just switch on my magic press because I'm using a Mac. Um, magic press, so that means obviously no middle click, so hopefully now we should have the middle click. Yep. And yeah, so if you are using a Mac, I would advise downloading Magic Prefs from um, the Apple Store. It's quite cool and makes using Mac a bit easier as you can now like move around. And normally without Magic Prefs, you can't. <clears throat> so now here you have the set and the object. And now we're going to go about rendering it. Um, if you go into your renderer, which is up here, and you click render, you're literally going to get that. That's all you're going to get. And obviously that doesn't look really pretty at all and that ain't going to get you no good grades and that ain't going to get you a job. Um, so first of all, what you want to do is come up to your um, renderer settings, which is here, and then go into render using. Mine is already set to mental ray. Um, likelihood is yours will be Maya software. If you select Mental Ray and then close, if um, for whatever reason Mental Ray isn't there, you're going to have to come up here, you're going to have to go to Window, Settings Preferences, Plugin Manager, and you're going to want to scroll all the way down to here where it says Maya 2 MR, which is Mental Ray Bundle. Yeah, and just make sure you load that up. Then once you load that up, come back and Mental Ray should be there, so you should be able to use it. So now you have Mental Ray loaded up, you want to go in back into your um, renderer settings and go into indirect lighting and where it says physical sun and sky, go to create. And now you should, as you can see there, you have a physical light and sky and this basically it makes it like a sun so everything the lighting and all the reflections everything acts as if there's a sun being shone upon it and you literally rotate this around and this is basically that direction of the light so if we render it now we should see some sun as you can see there's the sun it doesn't look usually but it's a slight improvement. If you want to try, say for example, getting some shadows, because we know that there's a background there, and basically this the set is going to act like um, a blocker to the sun. So if we turn the the sun direction around that way, we should get some shadow. So there's some shadow now, and of course this is already making the scene look more realistic. But now we need to start applying some materials. So you want to select your sphere and right click on it. Mine lets me. And go down to add new material. And once in your new material menu, you get all these options for different kinds of materials to apply. Um, and where it says mental, we're going to materials, 
and then go into Maya Material X, select this one. So now you have your Maya Material X um, color applied. If you come along here and where it says presets, there's loads of different presets which you can apply. So and this is like, say for example, making rims on a car. This will be very made very easily just by selecting a preset. So say for example, if we go on Chrome, there, and I'll go back into the renderer and then re-render this. As you can see, we've got a really, really, really pretty Chrome ball, which was really easy to make. This will be good if you're creating a pinball game, etc. That will that'll, that'll be perfect for the actual pinball itself. Um, some of the, some of the other presets include um, copper. Show you what the copper looks like. Just get a bit closer so we get a better view of it. Now let's re-render this. And there's your copper. It's really dark here, so let me turn turn the sun direction around, so the ball's not just sitting in the shadows. Now let's go back in and re-render that again. And it is all about playing with the direction of the sun to make your object look better. Say for example, casting shadows, because sometimes, with, like for now example, when the sun's directly on it, you've got that big... Um, bright circle in the middle of it, this part here which because the sun is directly on it but of course that might be what you're trying to achieve so that would be good if that's what you're trying to achieve so now we've seen how to um, render using mentor and make things look that tiny bit more realistic and prettier um, there is a more advanced stuff in the uh, mentor settings such as the quality and the features and the passes etc um, what I always tend to do, um, I literally just render using Ment or Ray using indirect line, depending on the purpose. Um, and if you come here um, in the mental Ray, back in the renderer settings there, and in common, you want to come down until you see where it says image size, and then it'll say presets. Um, HD, 1080, of course, that's that's the best. That's the best quality, and you'll get a great looking. Um, image with that and if, of course if you're um, rendering out an animation um, HD 1080p will be really really pretty and capture all the little fine details